What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. I uh, hope you're all doing great. Uh, this is a little bit of a different video. Uh, all of you that know me know that too, uh, because there's no face cam. Um, the, the reason for that is that I am currently working uh, somewhere. So um, I'm making these videos on work, which uh, is totally possible, but um, because of the lights, I cannot really show my face because it just, um, it, it, it shimmers a, a lot. So. We'll do it without a face cam right now. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Usually I do have a face cam. So if you want to know what I look like, check the videos of yesterday. Um, but today I wanted to take a look at Bitcoin. Um, that's also what I do daily on this channel. I cover Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, and Bitcoin has actually been like, it, it, it has gone against my expectations. Yesterday when I did the analysis, I was wrong. I, I was pretty down as well because obviously we had that big drop. I saw it and I was like, oh no, we're going to drop lower and lower. Uh, today we're up about 5%, volume is still quite high, which is great. That's obviously because the people uh, kept buying. We, you, you can see the spike right here, up to 42 billion. Um, but yeah, so, so that's absolutely great. I think I said it yesterday in a video too. I mean, the thing was, is that we actually managed to close below 18,700, which in my book was the main support, like, like the main support level. And we broke through that. So I thought we would drop down lower. Um, in reality, what happened is that we actually managed to get above 18,700 very quickly again. Um, and now we found support here at uh, 19,600. But I actually think that, I mean, originally my analysis was that we would drop down to 19,000 and then from 19,000, we would be able to get up to 22,000 again. Um, so obviously the market is, is very bearish, right? The market circumstances are bearish. If we take a look at more of the short term technical things, you can see all of these EMAs. You can see all of these strong resistance levels. It's still bearish, but um, I do expect right now that, that we will drop down from here, but I do expect that this whole level between, uh, well, right now 18,500 and 18,700 will hold. Uh, we might drop down, uh, but I do think it will hold and that we could slowly uh, get back up to 20,000. Uh, 20,700 and 22,000. So that's a little bit more of my long-term analysis or at least uh, semi long-term because um, before you all get mad, I mean, I, I, I don't think for, for, for one moment, I don't think 18,500 is going to be the bottom for forever. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to drop down to this level here between 17,000 and 17,600. And I also think we're going to be dropping down lower towards that 16,000, 15,000 level. I just don't think it's going to happen now. That's, that's the thing. I think right now we're actually first going to be able to get up to 22,000 again. From there, sure, we could go all the way down to 17,000, but it's, it's just initially and after this move, I, I do expect it to hold. Um, obviously I could be wrong about that, but that's my analysis for now. So if you do have any questions about my analysis, short term and long term, uh, please ask me down in the comments and I'll make sure to respond to that as soon as possible. But for now, I would like to thank you all for watching and listening, and I hope to see you all in my next videos. Take care today and uh, hope to see you tomorrow. Bye.